Now that we know how each organism in our buckwheat plant gets its energy, let's try to visualize these organisms and their relationships in what we call a food web. You may have heard of a food web before, or maybe a food chain. So a food chain is a series of events in which one organism consumes another and obtains energy. So this is an example of a food chain here in Crystal Cove. And as you can see, it is in a sequential order. So there are lines connecting each of our organisms. And those represent who is eating who in this ecosystem. The arrows show how the energy moves from one organism to the next as they're consumed. But we have more than just one line of organisms in any ecosystem. We have lots of organisms and they interact in lots of different ways. So that's how we get a food web. A food chain outlines one set of relationships describing who eats who, and a food web is all of the food chains in an ecosystem. So let's try making a food web out of all of the organisms found on or within our California buckwheat plant. I'll demonstrate one step for you here, and then you can make your own food webs with all of the organisms from your species cards. All right, let's begin constructing a food web. So open up a brand new blank page in your science journal and have something to write with. Make sure you also have your list of producers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, and decomposers ready to go. So start by opening up your blank page, or you can do two side by side if you want to have a little more, more room. And you're gonna start adding in the organisms from your list. So I'll start by adding on a sparrow. If you want, you can also draw a picture of the organism. Underneath it, you're gonna write how it gets its energy. So in this case, the sparrow is an omnivore. They eat plants and animals. Continue then adding other things to your list. If you'd like, you can add a circle around each organism to help separate them out. Uh, let's see, I also had an earthworm on the list. And that was a decomposer. I also had a coyote brush on my list, which is a producer. Continue this until your page is all full with all of the different organisms you have. And now we want to draw connections to show how energy flows. Now energy flows is by showing who eats who. So my sparrow is an omnivore that actually might eat one of our earthworms, decomposer. So I might draw an arrow because omnivores eat animals and plants and an earthworm is an animal. And since they're an omnivore, they might also eat my producer. So I'll draw some energy from my producer going to my omnivore. So that's just a couple of connections, but if you have all of the organisms that you found, you wanna draw all the connections that you can find between them for who eats who. And continue this process until you have a complete food web.